The Daily Code Snippet. When using background size and gradients, there's a few things you need to keep in mind. Because of inconsistencies that occur depending on the browser, especially Mozilla Firefox, it is best to specify a background size using both a width and height and not use auto as a single component. So to be clear, it is not safe to use background size 75 pixels. Background size 75%. Background size auto and 75 pixels. Background size 75% and auto. In the first two examples, we are specifying only the width and not the height. And in the second two examples, we are using auto as a single component. In contrast, these are safe to use. Background size, 750 pixels and 400 pixels. Background size, 30%, 30%. Background size, auto, auto. Let's look at some examples. We are again using class attributes so that we can target each div with a different example. We will look at how the background size affects a gradient and use pixels, percentages, and auto. Remember, we need to specify both a width and a height. Here is the CSS using pixels. For the most part, we will keep all the properties the same and change only the background size. For our background image, we will use a linear gradient that is rotated to 75 degrees with a range of colors, blue to light gray to orange to red. We are adjusting the color stops and using color hints. This is how it would display visually. In our second example, we are using percentages. And just for fun, we will change the background repeat to repeat so that it can tile. Here is the result. In the final example, we will use auto for both the width and the height. And this is how it will display. The gradient now fills the container. Another property for background image is background clip. Background clip indicates if the element's background will extend underneath the border box, padding box, content box, or text. In this way, it has some similarities to background origin, but with background origin, you are controlling a background image. If an element has no background image or background color, background clip effects will only be visible if the border has transparent regions due to a border style effect. Like other properties, background clip accepts the global values of inherit, initial, revert, and unset. These are the possible values. Background clip, border box. Background clip, padding box. Background clip, content box. Background clip, text. For border box, the background extends to the outside edge of the border, but beneath it. For padding box, the background extends to the outside edge of the padding. For content box, the background is clipped to the content box. For text, the background is clipped to the text. For the purposes of this demonstration, we have again exaggerated the size of the border to make the effect more visible. But again, you would not want to do any of this from a design perspective. Here's the HTML. Again, we are using class attributes to target our CSS. Here is the CSS for border box. We will be keeping many of the properties the same from example to example. Because we have text in this example, we've indicated font size, font weight, and a transparency on the text color. This is how this would display. Here is the HTML. Here is the CSS for padding box. This is how this would look.
Here is the HTML. Here is the CSS for content box. Here is how it would display. Here is the HTML. Here is the CSS for text. With the CSS, we have removed the color property and replaced it with fill color equals transparent. This is so the imagery can show through. Background clip set to text has limited support in Safari or Firefox. You may need to add the prefixes of hyphen webkit hyphen or hyphen moz hyphen to get the property to function on browsers other than Google Chrome. This is how this would display. The image is clipped to the outlines of the text. Presented by Designers Learn Code.